Brain tech here where tech is made simple. So Firefox 125 is now rolling out, which Mozilla pushed out on the 16th of April, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now I did notice something with this latest version, and that's that Mozilla um, rolled it out a little bit later on the release date, which was yesterday on the 16th, and it seems that they could have had an issue which they have already patched because we already get a point release with version 125. So to double check, we have the update. We head over to our main menu, help about Firefox. Latest version and build is now sitting on 125.0.1. So we already have a point release and that could have been why it rolled out a little bit later than it normally does on the release date. Now, there's quite a lot going on with this latest version. And first of all, just focusing on the security fixes. We get 15 security fixes that have rolled out. And nine security fixes are addressing high impact vulnerabilities, which is your second highest ranked security vulnerability after a critical. So this is an important security update rolling out. So 15 in total have been fixed, nine high impact. So just double check your browsers up to date, even if you're not interested in any new features, tweaks or adjustments. Now, focusing on what's new, I'm just going to mention the first one. Mozilla says that well, version 125 now supports the AV1 codec for encrypted media extensions, which enables higher quality playback from video streaming providers. So if you are doing a lot of video streaming uh, in Firefox after upgrading, you should now see and get higher quality playback. And then the next one is that Firefox PDF viewer now supports text highlighting. Now just take note though that this feature is part of a progressive rollout or what I would call a controlled rollout. So um, you may not see it, uh, including myself, I'm not seeing the new text highlighting, but if we head over to an image from the release notes, yeah, we can see more or less what to expect. Now, what is happening here is that, as we can see, if we focus here to the right-hand side, uh, it lets you set the highlight color, which consists of five options. We get yellow, green, blue, pink, and red. And then, yeah, you can adjust the thickness of the highlighter. So if you are using the PDF viewer, you can highlight text now in PDFs, which I think may be a nice move. And then focus in on the next new feature. And this is regarding Firefox View, which um, Mozilla is giving quite a lot of attention in recent updates, where Firefox View now displays pinned tabs in the open tabs section. So if I just uh, pin this tab and we head to Firefox View, we can see now that's also displayed in the open tabs. And the nice thing is if we head to the menu, we can actually unpin that directly from Firefox view. And then something else to take note of is that tab indicators have also been added to open tabs. So you can do things like see which tabs are playing media and mute or unmute across windows. So just to demonstrate, if I just pop any random video on and we head over to Firefox view, there we go. I can mute and unmute that tab that's playing media, which I think is a nice step in the right direction. And then moving on to the next uh, new feature, and I'm just going to mention this. If you find yourself in the US and Canada, Firefox now prompts you to save addresses upon submitting an address form, allowing Firefox to autofill stored address information in the future. So that's only for users in the US and Canada. And then mentioning the next one, Firefox now more proactively blocks downloads, according to Mozilla, from URL, URLs that are considered to be potentially untrustworthy. So that's a nice security improvement, blocking untrustworthy URLs. Now, this next new feature I find is a little bit iffy. It works in some instances and it doesn't in other cases, but apparently the URL paste suggestion feature now provides a convenient way, according to Mozilla, for you to quickly visit URLs copied to the clipboard in the address bar of Firefox. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. So I'm going to give this a go and see if this works. So just to demonstrate, if I just copy this URL, and if you have your clipboard on Windows enabled, let's just see if it's copied that. Yes, it has. And we head over to my new tab. There, it's not working. So let's try that again. New tab not working. So I'm going to head to another URL and let's copy that. It said there, there we go. So this is what they're talking about. So sometimes this works, sometimes this does, doesn't, but nonetheless, this is a new feature. So just to explain what's happening here, Mozilla says when the clipboard contains a URL and the URL bar is focused, as in this case, an autocomplete result appears automatically, as we can see. 
and activating the clipboard suggestion will navigate the user to the URL with one click. So that's more or less what that is all about. But I have found that that feature is a little bit iffy and works and then doesn't work. And then uh, three more to go. Just to mention this, users of tab-specific container add-ons can now search in the address bar for tabs that are open in different containers. And the next one is Firefox now provides an option to enable web proxy auto-discovery while configured to use system proxy settings. And then the last one for the purpose of today's video is regarding radio buttons. And radio buttons are those little um, round buttons you click on online as an example if you're filling out a survey or whatever but um what happens what's happening with radio buttons in version 125 is that when you go to a web page that contains radio buttons and have not selected one of uh, the actual buttons using the tab key the tab key will only jump to the first option and it will no longer cycle through the options and instead you will need to use the arrow keys to switch between the options so that's quite a mouthful but nonetheless there is an improvement regarding radio buttons in Firefox version 125. So guys, that's more or less what's new in version 125, the latest version, which as mentioned, rolled out on the 16th of April. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.